Worcester Schools Parents and Teachers Association issued a statement also supporting the school's decision not to allow the two Rastafarian students admission. The statement specifically mentioned the school's regulations, whereby students must keep their hair low, simple and natural. PTA Chairman Dr. Andre Kwesikuma explained why it is imperative that the PTA speak up. We like the Achimota tradition. We like the way our kids are being raised in that environment with these rules. So we want these rules to be maintained. We don't want any change. As a parent, um, appearances matter. So I wouldn't want my son or my daughter to get exposed to some indecent hairstyle and copy it. We queried whether allowances could be made on religious grounds. If you make a compromise for religious reasons, you are likely to have other people also come in demanding compromises for their religious beliefs. So you could have the traditionalists come in with also maybe dreadlocks with their cowries in it or with caps or nudists, I mean, going extreme, they could come in or people come with funny hairstyles and say, I mean, it's their religion. So even though it's their religious beliefs, um, because we want to maintain the appearance or the training of how our kids are raised, we, we still would not want to compromise on that. So we've seen some pictures of students at Sachimoto School who aren't black, who are white students with long hair. Surely this goes against the rules of keeping your hair short, simple and neat. So why is it that exceptions can be made for them with no religious basis, yet exceptions cannot be made for these students who are saying that having the dreadlocks denotes to their religious beliefs? Okay, yes, I've seen this picture. What well, the headmistress tells me unequivocally that everyone's supposed to keep short hair. The picture you I'm seeing right now is likely to be exchange students. And because they are not permanent students, they are allowed to keep their hair and go back. I've also been told that in the past, some have been allowed to keep long hair, whether Caucasian or non-Caucasian, for medical reasons. I don't know the details for those medical reasons. So, exceptions have been made, I know, based on health reasons. Dr. Kwesi Kuma noted why he believes it's important to preserve the rules about hair after nearly 100 years of the school's existence. If you compromise on this, as I said earlier on, nudists may also, or naturalists may also want to go to classes with bushy hair and then have leaves in it. Or people want to say because of their religion, they have to dress all white or have powder on their face, etc. Anything can come. So we prefer that this rule is maintained for harmony, decency, and simplicity. The tradition that has kept Achimota up to this stage for 94 years, we believe as parents, it should be maintained. Regardless of your stance on the matter, it is clear that neither party is willing to compromise either on religion or tradition. Nana Ajemai Rekumbrobe, TV3, Accra.